To stretch a canvas, you're going to need your bars and a roll of canvas. Go ahead and set your bars away for a second. Roll out the canvas so you can measure how much you're going to need. Put the bars face down on top of the canvas and give yourself a couple of inches on each side. So I'm going to try to stretch it so that the canvas is flush with the bar. Make sure that you have enough on each side here and here. You have enough. Got enough here. Then you take a razor blade or a pair of scissors. You measure the last side, so give yourself a good lip here as well. Take the razor blade and just cut the canvas where you want to cut it, and then all you have to do is rip. Just pull with pressure, and the canvas will rip in a straight line. Double check, make sure it's good, very good. Now we can start staple. So you take your staple gun and you make sure that there's enough room on each side here. And put three staples in at the center right next to each other, like so. Then flip the canvas around, pull it tight, in the center here, and give it a staple. Once you've secured the center beam, flip it on its side, pull it tight again, and staple it there, flip it up on its other side, pull it tight, and staple there, like so. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to go around and increasingly working out like this. So I'm going to pull it tight some more and put a staple about every four inches is enough. I'm pulling it tight up and also I'm pulling it out this way to make sure that there's not going to be any bumps in the canvas. Now you don't have to pull it too tight because when we prime the canvas with paint it's going to tighten up like a drum. The water is going to, when the water evaporates it pulls the fabric tighter. So we just want it to be, to have no wrinkles like this. So we, we did a couple of staples on this side. Now we're going to flip it over and do these ones. So pull up, pull out, up and out. So I'm smoothing out these wrinkles here. Do the top as well, up and out. Flip 
come around. <laughs> Pulling it up, out, Repeat the process, going a couple of inches at a time. All the way up until you get to the corners. Once you get to the corners, you decide whether you want it to fold over the top, like this, or if you want it to fold over the side, like this. Now I'm going to make this canvas a panoramic, so I'm going to fold my corners on the tops and the bottoms so that they can't be seen as much. To finish the corner, I'm going to fold it so that it's flush here, and then I'm going to pull it over like this and push it down like this. And staple these three spaces. Now it, I want to make sure it's flush here and that it's nice and tight crease here. So you can see a nice tight crease. I'm going to do that to all four corners. Like that. The last thing that you need to do is if there are any staples that are sticking up, go ahead and take a hammer and just set them inside the wood so that they don't stick out at all. My staple gun is getting old so that it's kind of lost its ability to staple them all the way into the wood. So I have to go around and pop each one in individually afterwards. There we are. Finished stretch canvas. Now it's ready to prime. What you'll need is any water-based paint. It can be any color. You can get gesso from the art store or you can buy house paint as what I'm using here. Uh, I thin it down with a little bit of water, not very much at all, maybe a quarter of a cup of water, just so that it's not too thick. And then you just take um, at least a three inch brush, uh, bigger is, is better because you're covering a lot of canvas. 
and you just cover the whole thing with three coats of paint. Just go along it like this, trying to evenly coat it. Want to paint the sides as well. I'm using ceiling paint. It's the cheapest, so it works for me. You can use any color. Sometimes, so this painting is going to be an ocean landscape. So for the last layer, I'm probably going to paint it blue, just because that's the color of sky and water. And so I won't have to cover all of the white. I'm just doing back and forth strokes trying to make long strokes so that the paint spreads out evenly. As you can see, it's already tightening up. Hands will get tired. It's good to switch hands. that you prime a canvas is to seal it. So if you were to put oil paint right on top of the raw canvas, it could mold, it could uh, deteriorate the canvas with time, but if you seal it with a water-based paint first, two or three layers of water-based paint, and then you put oil on top of that, it will last for hundreds of years.